Hey everyone, let's make a summer, a super fun summer wreath, a pancake wreath. Uh, this was a kit inside our shop. The welcome summer, the popsicles, the teeny tiny little bit of glitter, it's adorable. So I've already prepped our sign. There is a video in our YouTube channel that explains um, cutting instruction. It has some tips. It has some tips on cutting your mesh. It has um, some ways you can, a way you can identify what your, what your ribbon tails are versus what your ribbons for your bow is. I will say this, in the listing of the kit, it was very specific in what materials were for your bow and what materials were for your ribbon tail. So if you're unsure, um, you want you can always go back. Let's say you get your kit before there's an actual video posted. You can always go back to your actual listing and see what ribbons were meant for what. You guys, I woke up without a nail this morning. I don't know what happened to it overnight. Okay, so we're working with our 14-inch pancake wreath frame. The kit came with your sign. It came with your frame. It came with the pipe cleaners. It came with the ribbons for your bow, the ribbons for your tails, and a full roll of mesh. I cut 12 pieces at 20 inches long. I cut our ribbon tails at 14 inches long. Okay, so I started already adding. Our frame is super duper easy. It is created based on my pancake wreath recipe. There are 12 notches, you will see. The notches coordinate with a hole. Wherever you see the notch, there's a hole. Put your pipe cleaner through there. It's as easy as that. You don't have to measure, you don't have to count, you don't have to anything. Wherever there's a notch, there's a hole. So make sure your pipe cleaner goes through the hole and through the notch, it'll keep it in place. The one extra step that I'll tell you in this part, when you're twisting your, your pipe cleaner, twist it near the notch. Not in the notch, but twist it on the top of the wood and near the notch. This is going to help separate. So on the inside, we're going to tie it towards the inside of the notch. And on the out to outside spots, we're going to, again, tie it towards the outside of the notch. So it's going to help separate our um, layers just an extra little bit more. Instead of having our twist ties always by the holes, and then therefore all of our our twist ties and our everything is going to be in the same spot overlapping each other, this is just to help make it different. Okay? Separate it. All right, we're going to move on to the next thing. Very easy. So I have all 12 in. I'm going to set this up just like this so it's out of our way. There we go. And we're going to start with our mesh. So the mesh that I'm using right now is slightly different than the mesh that was in the kit because you guys have like the, the good mesh and I didn't realize that I didn't have enough for myself. So I sold all the kits. Um, and so this color is comparable. It just has a little bit of foil. Yours has a lot of foil. So yours is much better. Um, this one is just, it's the same color. It's comparable because it has the, the glitter kind of going through it. So yours is gonna be a little, it's gonna be a lot thicker than mine, um, but it's gonna look the same, appear the same as far as color, okay? so. It's the only reason, or it's the only thing that's different. Your mesh, if you got the kit, is a little different than this. Um, okay, so we're just gonna ruffle right up that center there. And I'm gonna take my nice pinched center, okay, nice and tight. I'm gonna go right to the outside. We're gonna work on the outside first. If you've never watched me make this style wreath, I always work on the outside first. I'll work on the outside first, including the mesh and the ribbon, and then go to the inside. Okay, I'm going to take these and kind of overlap and overlap so it looks fairly, not exactly, but kind of round and flat like a pancake. Now, this one, very see-through, obviously, even if this was the mesh that came in with your kit, which it isn't. Um, yours is going to be, again, a lot fuller. Um, as we put the layers on and the ribbon, then you'll start to see less and less of the frame. So if you're putting in your mesh for the first time and you're like, uh-oh, I can still see the frame, don't worry. Trust the process. Okay, trust the process. So go all the way up. Make sure I'm grabbing that whole thing there. Go right down on top. Perfection. 
crisscross, twist, twist, overlap here, overlap here. Get those pipe cleaners out of the way. You can see it is fraying. Your mesh could probably be fraying as well. It's a woven material. There's no way around it. We're just going to do our best to hide it. Okay? We're going to do our best to hide it. So this recipe is based on a very affordable way to make beautiful wreaths. I wanted the best way to stretch my supplies so I can get the most out of them for what I'm buying, what I'm paying for. Nice and convenient here though with your kit. You get all the pieces. See that kind of looks, it's fine. It's totally fine. Kind of looks a little bit wonky. It's all right. Once you have the first layer down, there's a couple, a couple of small little tips that I do on each of these at the at the end. Well, at the end of each layer, I should say, uh, that just help a little bit. Every little thing counts. I'm gonna overlap. I'm gonna overlap. Move the pipe cleaner out of the way, kind of tuck it underneath there, flip all those under so it stays flat. Go on to the next one. Just like that, up and down. Crisscross, twist, twist, overlap, overlap, tuck it under, tuck it under, ruffle it, flip it under, whatever you want to call it. So I went with the blue mesh just to pull out that blue from the sign. We have some blue in our popsicle ribbon, so pull out the blue from there. Nice, bright, fun wreath, right? Just a bright, fun style wreath. Crisscross, twist, twist. Overlap, overlap, and just kind of tuck underneath. Tuck underneath. So now, we're not gonna touch those inside pipe cleaners just yet, okay? I already have all of our ribbons cut and prepped for our ribbon tails. I have the popsicles and the daisies. I went with the popsicles as my cute ribbon and the daisies as my supporter. So I'm going to put my cute on top. They're cut 14 inches long. Y'all, don't cut this one, but just for an example. You get them and they're 14 inches long. If you just take your, not this one, this one's for the bow, but if you just take your scissors and put it in the center there and cut on both sides, that's 14 inches. Don't cut individually. Don't take them out and measure. Just cut them all together as one. And that is also something I talk about in that video that I was talking, telling you about in the beginning. Okay, so I took my favorite on the top, dovetailed the end, so I'm gonna take my ribbons, fold it, cut on the fold, on the fold up towards the edge like a, on a diagonal, open it up, it's a nice V. Favorite on the top, align them. Now, as you see here, if I align this one directly, one is a little bit longer than the other. It's fine. What I do is I just adjust it so that it's a little bit on each side. I promise you, unless you're talking about that much of a difference, no one's going to notice. And it's so much easier to do that and quicker to do that then measure out every single one and cut exactly, okay? So fold, find the center, unfold, scrunch it up. Everything comes out facing towards me. Everything comes out facing towards me. So I'm gonna come right down here, nice and tight, crisscross, twist. I twist it about seven or eight times, just enough to know that when I uh, fluff these, it's not gonna come apart. Okay, 
it's not going to come apart. So that's what we're going to keep doing. We're going to do that all around the outside, out towards me, so that that little pinch there goes right where the pipe cleaners are. Twist, crisscross, twist, 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 seven or eight times. I do the same thing. We're going to do this all the way around, and then we're going to fluff. It's just a habit. It's a process. It's a routine. It helps make it a little bit streamlined for me. Nice and tight right where that pinch is. The popsicles in the sign and the popsicles in the ribbon. Oh, it's so cute. It's so, so cute. And then, of course, I had to go with the pink daisies just because I'm a pink person. And the writing, um, the welcome writing on the sign was pink also. I could have gone with the purple. Um, you know, I do have, I did have purple daisy ribbon also because I could have gone with the purple, but I'm a pink person, so I went with the pink. So fun. I love this. I love, love, love. I love it a lot. Really cute. Okay, so now we have them in. Nice and tight, crisscross, twist, 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 twist. I'm gonna take our wire cutter. Y'all, I just get this one. Um, this is my favorite. I've had it forever. I've lost it twice. Found it again. <laughs> I stole it from my husband. Um, this one is from Lowe's. It's, I like it because it's small. It fits in the palm of my hand. It is nice and strong. Uh, it's heavy. I like things that are a little heavier. It's not super heavy, but it's a little heavier. Um, I like my forks like that too. I'm crazy. It's fine. <laughs> um, all right. So here is, here's my tip for this. This layer and this layer are a little different with this particular step. So stay with me. So I'm just going to fold this forward. I just folded it forward and I'm going to push down so that all that pipe cleaner, all kind of, what's that word? It goes like that. Okay. Um, we're going to spread those apart. So I'm going to spread it apart up and down and spread it apart side to side. If you guys don't know, if you've never met me before, never followed me before, I do forget my words sometimes. So I appreciate the, um, <laughs> I appreciate the kindness. All right. So again, we're going to, we're going to do that. We're going to, is it compact? I don't know what it is. I'm going to fold that down and push. So it all scrunches together. And then up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side. The one thing I am going to make sure I do all the time is I'm going to make sure I keep a pattern. Daisy, popsicle, daisy, popsicle, daisy, popsicle, all the way around. It just makes it look so smooth. It makes it just flow real nice. It doesn't make it look choppy. Like if I had the popsicles together, and the and so if I had it like this, right, where the daisies would be together and the popsicles would be, it would just look choppy, okay? Now, I'm not saying you can't be different. You can do whatever you want. I'm just saying how it looks best to the eye, how pleasing and soothing and smooth it looks uh, when you have them as a pattern like every other, okay? Now, I also want to point out that you could say, oh, well, maybe I'll do it flip-flop on the top. You know, maybe I'll put, instead of the daisy to the right, I'll put the thing to the right. Well, I'll tell you, when it overlaps, it's it overlaps and looks like it's the same coming down. Like, it might look like daisy, daisy. You know, that kind of way. So, you just want to, it's just easy. I'm not saying, again, I'm not saying you can't be different. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying how, uh, in my opinion... How I think it looks the best and the smoothest. Okay. So now we have our first layer completely done. I like to do this layer before I move forward so that I'm not dealing with that inner ring, the inner mesh. I'm not, you know, moving it out of the way and then having to go back and do it again. Uh, but we are going to do the same thing on the next layer. So I'm just going to go 
right up here. And I do, this is being a little stinker there. I do want to make sure I'm going all the way up. Okay, right on top. Crisscross, twist, twist. Overlap here. Overlap there. Now, this, these two pieces barely touch each other. These two pieces are going to completely overlap each other. So now you'll start to see less of the frame, still not eliminated because we still have that ribbon, the sign, the bow, we still have all that stuff to do. Try to scrunch right up the center. And if you're needing, if you're needing um, help or if you're needing practice, just pause. One thing I will say, if you are um, making a wreath for the very first time, after you cut your 12 pieces at 20 inches long, you have a little bit left over mesh. So what you could do is, you could practice. You could practice on that mesh. So that the pieces that go in your actual wreath are the pieces that are, you know, they're gonna look the best. Because once you scrunch this up and then let go, that cut edge is gonna start to look mangled. My grandma used to use that word all the time. It's gonna start to use look mangled. So the less you can do that, the better it's gonna look, right? So if we practice on one of the pieces of mesh left over on our roll, and then leave the good pieces for the design, then it might look a little bit better. But I'll also say, you know, where these where these kind of fold over, it's right where our ribbon goes, and so it does mostly get covered up and camouflaged. And your kit might have white, um, pipe cleaners. Uh, I didn't have any white downstairs, so I use green. But I use green also because I'm just going to show you that you're not going to see it. You, our job is to hide those pipe cleaners, and we're going to do our very best to do so. But yours and your kit should be white, I think. They could be any color though. We're going to make them. We're going to make them disappear. right up the center, doing the best I can to stay in the center. Nice and tight, crisscross, twist, twist, overlap here, overlap there. Last piece going in. So I'm not going to play with the ribbon until the very end and I'll make sure that they, because they're going to get moved around and kind of, I'm going to rough up, rough up against it. So I'm not going to really go back and touch them and put them in their place until the very end so that I don't have to do that all twice. So we're going to take our next layer of ribbon, same exact thing. I have the popsicles on the top, the daisies on the bottom, they're 14 inches long. I dovetail the ends. Y'all, I did that all ahead of time to make my processing, my, my designing go a little bit smoother, okay? I suggest that you do that as well. That way, you you know, you're not having to stop and cut, you're not having to just remember where I was, how much did I cut, how much did I, how long were they, just cut them all at once. Nice and tight here. The 
popsicle ribbon is absolutely adorable. I love it so much. And there's one step that I do just a little bit different on this layer than I did the last layer. Just a little bit. All the little teeny tiny details help. Same thing, I'm going to go through, cut off our excess just because we don't need it there. Okay. So the last thing I do, the one thing I do different is I do push it, I fold it down, I do push it down, but I kind of push it forward at the same time. So I'm pushing it down and in at the same time, just to help these layers be a little bit more distinguished. So remember we put our twist tie closest to the edge on this notch, closest to the edge on this notch, helping those have a distinct layer here. We're gonna do one last piece and kind of push that in a little bit. This also helps when we have um, smaller signs. This sign is the perfect size for our design here, but sometimes I use uh, 10 inch signs and so this is this step is crucial when you have a smaller sign um, it just you know helps make sure you can cover all of the pipe cleaners so I'm just folding it down pushing it down but pushing it in all kind of at the same time this is darling. That popsicle ribbon is so cute. And I think really the it's the popsicles that are all different in different, you know, patterns or whatever, but it's those little fun little polka dots that are there too that just make it look so festive. It's really cute. Always making sure we pull them up and down and pull them apart. Super duper cute. Okay, so I have been prepping our sign since before the live start or before the recording started. So again, in that video at the very beginning, I told you about it was an Easter kit. It's on our YouTube channel. It's cutting instructions, just general instructions. Even if you've never purchased a kit from us before and don't intend to, that video will help you with some of the really basic things, okay? So I've had this drying now this whole time. We're gonna take those off. And I'm gonna add my pipe cleaners to the back. This is just how I'm gonna um, use it to, what I'm gonna use to attach. Now, sometimes I use the zip tie mounts. Sometimes I use my um, my zip tie gun. It is just a matter of how I'm feeling, really, or how much time I have, or when I add those. I like it for I like for it to dry for a little bit, 
And so then I just get to add and cover one, two, three, four. How perfect, it! this, I can't even take it. It's so cute. And then what I'll do, I'll just put those through. We'll get to that in a second. Um, that's so cute. I wish I would have had more of these kits, you guys. This is darling. And then I went for um, the very colorful, also very popular, the flip-flop ribbon, just because it went with the color. It went with summer flip-flops. It's just, it's just really cute. So um, we're going to add that right in. Now I add the same style, same measurements. Okay, so I'm going to go with about a seven inch tail and about a six inch loop because I make this recipe so many times, I know exactly what I need. Pinch for the part, twist, loop, eyeball it, make sure it's measured, pinch, twist, loop. Now, I have super bad carpal tunnel. So I like to make the layers in my hand and then put them in our Easy Bow Maker to hold on to them. Okay? So each layer is going to have two loops on one side, two tails on the other side with one loop. Every layer is going to be like that. And then we're going to flip flop. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, so where the two loops are here, the next layer, the two loops are going to be here. And we're just going to keep doing that to the top. Okay. Um, so I'm going to break things up just a little bit here. Start with a little bit of pink. Of course, I went with that same color pink to bring up to the top. So we're going to take the one and a half inch. Everything's going to get a little bit smaller. Okay. Not a lot, just a little bit. So if my last, if my first loop was uh, six inches, this next one's going to be five and a half. I'm going to pinch, twist, and loop. Pinch, twist, loop, pinch, and twist. Now again, those two loops are going to go opposite. This has got to be one of my very favorite kits so far this year. There's another one that we have. I'm not sure when you're watching this, whether it's in stock or not, but it's a, a, it's a sunflower and it's a, You Are My Sunshine. That I think is going to be really cute too. Okay, we're going to keep going with our next. I went, went for a stripe. Again, all the colors, nice and bright. So super fun. Everything gets a little bit smaller. So the measurements that you got to pay attention to are those first measurements. Once you have those first measurements, all you have to know is everything gets a little smaller. And I mean a little smaller like the tails instead of the um, instead of them being they start off as seven inches. So the next one might be six and a half or six. The loop starts off as six inches. The next one goes, you know, five and a half or so, right? You're just making everything a little bit smaller and then making sure your loops go opposite. And then the last layer here um, has one, something just a little bit different. So the last layer has a three inch loop on the top. That is going to help us hide our pipe cleaner. So again, nice and fun. Finally, I'm bringing in a little bit of that purple. So a th about a three inch loop. This is going to hide our pipe cleaner. Does not count as our loop count. So pinch, twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop, Pinch, twist, loop. Now, pinch, 
and twist. Now you see the tails are on opposite sides, but I'm still looking for those two loops. Those loops are going to go on the opposite side of the previous layer. Okay, just like that. Perfect. So now you've got a good idea of what it looks like when it's fluffed or or what it should look like. So just just planting that seed, you see how we have a pattern here, daisy popsicle, daisy popsicle. Well, I have layer one, layer two, layer one, layer two, layer one, layer two. And then you move down. We have two, we have three, we have two, we have three, we have, I forget which one we're doing. No, two, three. So you can see all those layers going down. I just want you to put those, the next layer goes in the gap, right? Goes in the gap. So I'm just going to scrunch that kind of, take this up. Oopsie, I've got to get all the ribbons nice and tight. Lift it off. Take my pipe cleaner, wrap it around the center. Squish my bow, it's okay, they're all wired. I can put it all back in place, it's all right. Nice and tight, squish, twist, twist. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that, bring my my center loop up, so now you see the pipe cleaner. Now you don't, I'm gonna squish that back and forth and kind of get it in place. Make sure all my ribbons are looking the way they should. Bring that bow, fluff it out just all the way it's supposed to be. Really cool. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside for a second and then I'm gonna put our sign in. Again, I want it to cover one, two, three, four so that we only need to you cover these two with the bow, perfect, okay? perfect measurements. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to stick those pipe cleaners right. This is the hardest part of the whole entire thing. It, it is the hardest part. It jogs my, my patience for sure. So I'm going to go through all those layers. I'm going to take my mesh and go through, or my, sorry, my pipe cleaner and go through all those layers. One all the way through. And I have my hand on the underside and I am feeling for that pipe cleaner, just to kind of help guide it, okay? Help guide it in, help guide it through. So what happens is, I'll turn it over and you can see what I'm doing, just one second. What happens is those pipe cleaners are two wires kind of just twisted, winded together. And what happens is, never fails, the wires catch on those, those um, fibers, the material from the mesh. And so like the ends of the pipe cleaner will kind of, sp not split, but it'll catch. It'll catch on one of those little, um, mesh things, whatever you want to call them. And so it just usually drives me crazy. And that, it went in pretty smooth. Okay. Now that I have it in, I have it centered the way I want it to be. Okay. Now I'm just going to turn it upside down making sure it stays where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna tighten these so a little bit tighter. So it's kind of squished in here. Now you see those extra holes here? If I wanted to, let's say my pipe cleaner ended up being too short or you know I had a lot to go through so I didn't have a lot of mesh left over. Let's just make sure this is the good spot. We're good here. So what I could have done is I could have just used those little holes there um, as my, you know, spot to attach, right? So I didn't have to go around the whole entire frame. That's what they're there for. They're there to help with my bow if I need it, okay? Otherwise, you clearly don't have to use them. Back is nice and clean. Perfect, we're gonna go around, fix the ribbon, just a second. Okay, our bow. The, the longest part of your bow are those first layer of tails. You want those to come off the edge of your wreath. So you don't want those to go up into your sign. 
you want them to the longest part to come off the edge so I got a nice little spot right here I'm gonna go right through all those layers and put my my bow right through here I do need to account for I'm okay with it going kind of over my sign a little bit I don't want to obviously hide my words right so I want to make sure I come down a little bit with my bow so that I can still see what's going on on that sign right I'm just gonna again take my pipe cleaner exactly the way I did uh, with the sign just kind of fish it through get my hand underneath there feeling for it helping it guide through That's one and come on there's the other good making sure before I secure it that it is in a good place very good and just securing it exactly the way underneath exactly the way I did the um, the sign and then also making sure that that excess gets up underneath the underneath the frame in between so it doesn't the, the ends of those pipe cleaners are pokey okay so then we're going to fluff our bow to make sure everything in our bow is in the right spot. Find our tails that I was specifically talking about. Making sure those go in the right spot. There we go. Go in the right spot. You can see all those colors, all those different patterns. Absolutely, positively love. This is so cute nice and bright the last thing I do the very last thing I do is I go through the whole entire wreath making sure all of my ribbons now's your time to play with the ribbons making sure all of them are coming out facing out towards the edge nothing is hiding nothing is overlap I mean some some of them overlap but a piece of meshes there we go um, some of them overlap that's okay but we don't want something completely over the other like I don't want those completely hiding the other I do want to see all of them as best as I can and so I'm just pretending not pretending this is real life I do lift this right up from here walk right over to the door to take a picture so I want to make sure it looks the best you see I kind of curl those out so they're not curling under now when it gets on the customer's door, is it gonna wave around and go with the wind and move around? Yeah, is it gonna stay looking perfect like this? No, they're not steel, it's ribbon, it's fabric with a little tiny bit of wire, right? But we just want it to look the very best it can for our pictures, of course, so they can see. And some people like to put them on the inside of their homes and on the inside like some people I made I can't even tell you I don't know why but I can't even tell you how many wreaths I made um, in the very beginning when I was doing lots of customs for folks for their bathrooms to match their bathrooms right uh, there were cute little signs that Hobby Lobby that I had and I was using those adorable right so not necessarily doesn't have to go on the outside it could totally go on the inside that is all I have for you today. I absolutely, positively love this design. It is so cute. Let me just zoom you all the way out so you can see the whole thing. There we go. Don't mind my mess there. Sorry. Um, adorable. And we're marking. We're marking at about uh, 23, 24 inches. Like we're at 24 inches right here. I'd probably call this one 24. It's so cute. Nice bow, super colorful. Nice and flat to fit between most storm doors. Super duper cute. Y'all, we make lots of videos just like this. Um, I hope that you're following. If not, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button so that you can see us in the future. For those of you who bought this as a kit, it is one of my favorites. Um, thank you very much for all of your purchase and all your time and support. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye, y'all.